Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and today we're going to talk about my hair again because I've been get, I get so many questions about it or just random comments, and I figure that this might be an informational and educational video where I can answer all of those things perhaps. So today I am going to speak about things that I thought I may miss that I, spoiler, I didn't end up missing at all. I'm also going to talk about weird things that I've noticed since shaving my head, which it's been at least three weeks, but I think it's been about a month. And if you're new here, by the way, I did put out a video a day or two after I did buzz it off showing the process, but also giving you guys a reference if you're thinking of buzzing your hair and you want to know what the different clipper lengths look like. That's why I posted the video to give you guys that resource because I did it from clipper six down to two and I showed you with a 360 exactly how it looked with each length. Since then, I put out another video explaining the 10 reasons why I decided to buzz all of my hair off because if you can't tell by the thumbnails I've shared or if you haven't been around here for a hot minute, I had a lot, a lot of hair. And I'll post the links to both of those videos in the description below. And most importantly, I recently launched a Patreon, which is being called our Patreon, which is an exclusive community where you can get all kinds of fun perks. We'll have monthly live streams and I share kind of more personal updates throughout the week. And you can support this channel by joining our Patreon, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Okay, so let's start off with a question that I was asked a few times since buzzing off all of my hair, and that is, do I regret it? And the answer to that is no. I don't. And one more thing let's just talk about before we get started. Um, this might be the last video that I put out like specifically dedicated to talking about my buzz cut because clearly you guys will be able to see how it progresses and what things do up here as I continue to put out videos indefinitely. So I just want to talk about how already I haven't done anything to it since buzzing it. I was going to buzz it again and even go down to a one, but honestly, I just haven't. Going back to one of the reasons why I did it was to make things simpler and to not be distracted and to not have to worry about my hair, which I have totally honored this whole entire time because I haven't even buzzed it again. And I think I've cleaned up my neck like once. But can I just say, it's really interesting to see how my hair is growing back it's, it's like in different regions, and I don't know if anybody else who has buzzed their hair, maybe with a similar type of hair, even if you don't, even if you have like straight, fine hair or whatever type, if you've noticed that you are, you can actually see the different regions. Like if my, if my head was a country and it's like there's all these different states, like this section right here is growing kind of that way. And then there's a section right up here that's kind of just like bing, just growing up almost straight up, which I'm sure will curate itself into little curls at some point. And back here, it's kind of sticking out and down. And this side is just like straight down this way. I anticipate seeing how things will progress. And you're welcome for everybody who is going to go on this journey with me over the next however long it takes to grow things out, because there will certainly be some kind of funky stage where I will have to, I guess, pay attention to my hair again. Or you know what? Maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just let it do what it wants. And fair warning, I guess, if, you know, for the future of whatever happens on top of my head. But that's definitely something I have found interesting, especially considering it's still so short. But onto the things that I thought I might miss. One thing was just the familiarity of having hair, what I would do with it, how I would play with it, especially these little curlies I had right here. Now I don't. I mean, if anything, I just like to do this sometimes, but that's the extent of it. And adding on to that, another thing I thought I might miss is simply having the accessory factor. So being able to style it certain ways or do my one of my favorite, the French pigtail braids or you know, maybe do something different with it depending on my mood. Just just the accessory factor I thought is something that I might miss. And not only when it comes to style, but also when it comes to movement, I thought I would 
really miss how it felt blowing all crazy in the wind when I was driving with the windows down or having that beachy saltwater kind of beach wave hair that would dry in the wind and the sun when you're out on the beach and look amazing. And really, I haven't missed any of those things. The one, one area that kind of fits into that category where I, I wouldn't say I miss it. Like, Ooh, I wish, I wish I wouldn't have done it. Nothing is taking me to that point of wishing where I wouldn't have done this because I love it. But it is when I dance and the accessory of whipping hair around and what that does with the movement of dancing. I love dancing almost every night. I have something I call an SDP, which is a solo dance party. It involves all kinds of movement and dancing and and whipping your hair around and stuff like that. And in that sense, it is super fun to kind of mess with and play with when you're dancing certain ways. But again, I, I don't miss that as much as I maybe thought I may because I still have just as much fun and I don't get as hot and sweaty as I would with that giant curly insulation on top of my head. The next thing I considered that I might miss is that boost from having a good hair day. I don't miss that at all because now it's funny. I feel like I have more consistent. Basically every day is a good hair day. It's, it's basically, it's the same every day now and it's good every day now. And I know what to expect and I don't even have to spend any time on it. So that's wonderful. Another thing that I put on this list because I did take notes, so I am reading from a list, is I thought maybe I would miss the compliments that I received pretty often on my hair because like I mentioned before, like you've seen, it's naturally, I mean, this is my natural hair color. It was big and curly and black and thick and long. So I received compliments on my hair and how much people loved my hair. And I always was very gracious about it. And I thought that was wonderful and so kind of people to say. I guess I never depended on my hair as some kind of security factor or identifying factor with myself to where that really makes a big difference. And I truly believe that it also has a lot to do with how you carry yourself. And I don't know if it's just because of how I look or how I appear, or I guess the somewhat ethnic ambiguity that apparently I I might have mixed with the fact that I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'10", but in my experience, I have been able to pull this off and pull it off in a way where I'm still stylish and where I still get compliments for this kind of look. And the thing is, even if I don't, because it doesn't happen every single time I leave the house, which let's be honest, I mean, who's really leaving their house super often this year anyway. But I I mean, that hasn't really changed at all because I still appreciate when it does happen and don't really notice when it doesn't happen because I'm just out like getting my groceries or doing my thing or whatever. I'm, not, I'm very much in my own world, to be honest, whenever I go out into the world for the most part. The next thing that I thought I would miss that surprisingly, it's not that bad, is the cushion factor of all of that hair, especially if I'm doing an exercise that involves laying on the ground or if I'm training a client and showing them an exercise that involves laying on the ground, typically involving your hip flexors or pelvic floor work or ab work or anything like that. I would always bundle up my hair into a bun in the back of my head and it would act like a little cushion or like a little pillow when I'm laying on the ground. And surprisingly, that hasn't been an issue whatsoever. The next thing I thought I may miss, which I, in all honesty, can't really gauge yet, is the insulation factor if I'm feeling cold. Can't really gauge it yet because it is still running strong at about 100 degree heat index with 100% humidity where I live. And I have a feeling it's going to be that way for probably the majority of the rest of the year. I guess stand by for for that insight. Uh, But thus far, that insulation factor has not been an issue. And this has actually been a blessing in that aspect with the heat outside. The next thing I thought I might miss, which I haven't been able to put in practice, again, not exactly hanging out in coffee shops or anything. If I didn't want to be approached and I really wanted to make sure that I was focusing on my work when sitting at a coffee shop. I would kind of use use my big hair as like this 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 fibrous curtain to, you know, 
kind of block people from coming my direction. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't, but at least I have that tool there. So I don't miss that because it hasn't really been necessary. The next thing I thought I may miss that um, really kind of proved wrong, along with a lot of these things, but that is that my hair was always a really easy conversation starter. But this is also its own conversation starter in a lot of ways. But I have noticed that nobody will bring it up unless they know me very well. So whereas strangers probably, or acquaintances, I would say probably feel more comfortable, like complimenting a feature you already have, when they see such a drastic change, it's almost like they're scared to ask what happened (laughs) or why you did that or basically question something that you appear to do. And this might be speculation. I just feel like a lot of people might, it might cross their mind that maybe this wasn't a choice. Like maybe you had to shave your head for some reason involving an illness or something like that. And that's why they're uncomfortable asking because apparently a lot of people don't really understand why someone would simply, or a woman, especially with such big curly hair that I did love, I loved my hair, but I can see how for some it might be hard to understand why someone would simply just just want to buzz it off. So in that sense, I've found it interesting how I can kind of sense the hesitation to talk about it. So I usually bring it up with an acquaintance or, you know, people who, let's say, regularly help me at my supermarket with certain things. I was the first person to say like, hey, so I shaved my head and they're like, oh yeah, I noticed. And then all of a sudden they want to talk about it. And I'm, you know, I basically give the spiel that, yeah, I just wanted to. And they're like, oh no, it looks great. But yeah, I feel like that is a common thing that maybe a lot of girls or women who've buzzed their head, that's a, a common kind of sense you may get from others when it comes to being curious about what happened up there, but kind of being uncomfortable when it comes to asking what happened up there. It totally doesn't bother me. It's just one of those things I find so interesting because I would have never kind of learned that or experienced that or gotten that information any other way, really, except for experiencing it myself. And, you know, I love that stuff. The next thing... That is a little bit sad. I'm not going to say I miss it because I I haven't done it to miss it, but I really want it to be Slash for Halloween. And I have the perfect hair for it. I have the perfect like t-shirt. I found this top hat that would be awesome and these glasses and I have the perfect boots. Like I would have been, I would have been a really good naturally haired Slash. I mean, the thing is I'll just have to do it in the future and, you know, find somebody like a counterpart or a friend to be Axel so we can like be awesome together. That's something that, you know, kind of like made me go, oh, that sucks, but it's pretty much as long as it lasted. I was thinking depending on how long this is around Halloween time, I could be like Furiosa from Mad Max Fury Road or someone really awesome like that. Speaking of, I am kind of open to your guys' opinion on something I was thinking of doing. And that would be to bleach or dye this a platinum, flattering kind of platinum blonde color. I would never do that with my hair long because it would absolutely just annihilate it. It would just fry it and break off because I will probably have to do it a good three times estimated if I am to do it in order to lighten my hair to the place where I want it to be. And this is completely up in the air. I've been thinking about it, thinking about it with it at this length, mainly just because I thought it'd be fun, you know, just for poops and giggles. Let me know your thoughts because if I do do it, then I'm going to document it so I could share what I do because it is very, very, very difficult (laughs) to get hair as dark as mine is to a pretty good platinum blonde color. And you guys know me, I like to share a resource. So let me know in the comments if you think I should try that out, if you think it would look fun. Okay, this video I feel like is already pretty long. So I'm gonna make a separate one to talk about the weird or funny things that I've noticed or that I do since buzzing off my hair. So I will end this video here. I hope you guys found everything I spoke about interesting. 
Um, or perhaps it is going to help you make the decision to buzz off your hair if you've been thinking about it, if you want to. Remember to subscribe and click that little bell icon if you want to make sure you get notified when new videos come up, including the one I will probably just record after I'm done with this one to tell you guys all of those pros and funny weird things that I've noticed. All that said, to those of you who are still sticking around, thank you so much for watching and for being here. And uh, I look forward to what you have to say in the comments about if you think I should do like some fun random platinum thing. All that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.